everybody. Welcome back at Y254 channel and at Brian Sanko 101 on the hashtag Gwai in the morning. We are bound to delve into a conversation about TVETs and academic routes, okay? And definitely, uh, recently we've seen uh, the Kenya National Examination Council uh, led by, uh, rather the whole docket uh, led by uh, Ezekiel Machogo, who is the Cabinet Secretary. They released uh, the Kenya Secondary of Education Examination results, but they've not yet rolled out the final list and also the directive on uh, uh, also when are students enrolling. But uh, I believe uh, they're going to enroll uh, towards April, May, but they also said they'll communicate. And the body in charge now is the Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Service that's now in charge of that. And uh, they issued out that uh, starting May 17th uh, uh, la last year to June 2023, they pointed out that all the, 20, uh, all the 2023 candidates and uh, will definitely get to see uh, the universities that they'll be placed into. And also for those that will not maybe have met uh, the minimum grade of entry they'll have an option of joining TVETs. And uh, I love the fact that on the website of CUSP, they've given an outline of how to join. So shortly, you can visit the CUSP website, www.cusp.ac.ke and click on Students Portal. On the portal, you can click Login and then just get to fill in your details. This will definitely be happening a lot in May or April, May. And then also they'll be also filling out uh, a space where students that will be eligible for government scholarships as well. All those details will be communicated on CUSP's website. Uh, Kenya Universities and Colleges Central Placement Service uh, is going to be uh, mentioned a lot come April, May, okay? But now uh, we, we're going to delve into a conversation about academic alternative routes and I'm being joined live by Brian Kipchumba. He's a youth leader at El Geo Marocat County and also a president student at KTTC. Uh, Kevin Emapus, he's a TVET Students Association National Academic Secretary. Good morning, Karibuni Sana. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so just a brief, a brief introduction of maybe your background and what you do, and also how you become uh, a president at KTTC. Uh, yeah, my name is uh, Brian Kipchumba Chiriot. Uh, I'm a student leader at uh, Kipsoin Technical Training and Vocational College. Uh, it's a vocational college situated in El Marquette County, and uh, I'm also a youth leader in Ilgio Marquette County, having come from uh, actually the Kerio Valley. Uh, that is where I was born and raised. I'm also a businessman. I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, we have a, a business, uh, Pale. It is located in uh, Eldoret Town. That is uh, at KVDA Plaza. We do branding of jerseys. We do uh, businesses such as uh, logo creating and also branding of uh, actually the capes and that is what I do as a part-time job uh, apart from being a student at the Tiveta. Okay. Yes, uh, Kevin, what do okay. you do there? Um, I'm a past Kevin, the Kenya Tiveta Academic Secretary. The journey of becoming Academic Secretary, this is something that I started a long time ago because I've been in leadership back in my institution, Rift Valley, Rift Valley Institute of Science and Technology. And uh, last year, last year in November, it was now upgraded to Rift Valley National Polytechnic. Currently, that is the name. And uh, that institution I've served at the Department of Agricultural and, Agricultural and Mechanical Engineering Department as the academic representative, the MP of the department for two consecutive years. I was also elected as the Kenya TV Academic Secretary while I was having that role as the MP of that department from that institution as I applied and then I was elected. And then uh, currently I'm, I'm also still a student there and I'm also planning to do a, another course differently from whatever I did because I did a agricultural engineering diploma and now I'm also thinking of pursuing a, dipl a diploma in uh, computer science as an additional course so that I can I get to attain whatever I wanted. But under the leadership roles and outside there, I'm also doing my only part-time jobs like uh, business. I always engage in business because uh, being an agricultural engineer, I'm also venturing under agriculture. Mm. Outside here, I'm certainly a farmer, but I'm not the one who always gets into the farm. Yeah. So that is my part-time activities so I'm dealing with farm produce, yeah. like uh, selling fruits and uh, all sorts of that mm. things. That is my part-time mm. job. 
Okay, yeah. now we can move away from your individual uh, practices. <laughs> Let's get into the conversation at hand. Uh, for those that did not score a minimum grade that is required by now CUSP for you to join a higher learning institution, maybe what is the alternative? Maybe I can start with you, uh, Brian. Yeah, now uh, when you talk about uh, actually getting those flying colors uh, grades uh, that is going joining to the university, and uh, that is the hope of each, of each and every parent uh, to see that maybe their children are joining those universities. But now, uh, on the course of the journey of being in high school, and uh, you have attained that grade, whatever grade that is uh, the cut mark of a C plus, that is to join the university. Now we have these other people who have grade, who these are students who are getting C minors. We have the C stand, and also the D plus and the distance. Um, the president, uh, His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto, uh, sometimes back when he was, uh, he was the deputy president, he brought in this uh, TVET institution. Uh, this uh, TVET institution, this provides alternatives uh, to those students who didn't manage to join the universities, actually to do courses such as uh, diploma courses, we have certificate courses, and we have the artisan courses that are provided in this TVET institution. Now, from there, these people are going to, to actually upgrade and also maybe join the universities with their interest and also upgrade to be people who are very successful in life. And we have actually example of people who have really, have really taken that journey from certificate courses, upgrading to diploma courses, which will take you another three years, and also joining the university uh, to be people who are also having degrees uh, to be the same as equal to those people who got a C plus and joined the university directly. So I believe that uh, we are given an option uh, of the TVETs, that is uh, uh, the way to go, and uh, is actually more competent and more skill based uh, to my perspective. All right. uh, do, do you feel like uh, a TVET is an option to, uh, uh, and maybe also maybe we can get to have a grasp of what a TVET is. Do you feel like it's an option for those that have lost hope? And then what do you mean by lost hope? Because I don't believe you can lose academic hope because now that life is not all about just academia you can fail academically and excel in life but you know sure, we've sure. made it a narrative that if you did not pass KCSC you are nothing in life but also some some someone's kind of sort of I believe that you know these divots have come into they've come in in the nick of time to help those that in other words have, I've said again lost hope meaning that you'll still be able to pursue your favorite course and advance uh, like you said You'll, you'll, not only are you just pursuing what you're pursuing, you also have a vision of pursuing another course. Do yes, you yes. agree that it's, 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 it, uh, it has coming at the right time when, you know, students that do not meet that pass mark of C plus and above, will, they'll now will have options? Yeah, my brother Brian, I can say that uh, we can't say that maybe people have lost hope or people, we have those people who, everyone has uh, ambitions of getting somewhere. And we always love being at a higher level of education. Now, the higher level of education, or even the TVETs nowadays are under the same, because the higher level of education are universities and colleges and the TVET sector. Mm -hmm. So because all of these institutions are together, mm -hmm. so whatever we can say is that um, TVETs can't be an option for someone, but TVETs is where dreams come into reality. Why can't they not be an option? They can't be an option because we can only say that at the university they put a limit. That for you to enter university, you must score this one. But for the TVETs, mm. whatever they did, they say that because you did your Form 4, because I can tell you that uh, TVETs take even those people who sat for Class 8 exams mm. and then they never no go to high school. Right. They still enroll them. Because okay. we have arts and courses. Arts and courses, yeah. Yeah. And that is the favorite part about that. Yeah. Uh, the arts and mm. courses, the same same person who never went to high school mm. and then he started from artisan, he can still get to a degree. Mm. Why? Because he has to go to all that process until the time that he'll get up to that degree he wanted. Yeah. A dream will come true when you commit yourself on it. Yeah. There is nothing lost at any time. Because yeah. we always believe that dreams are there, but yeah. what makes it real yeah. is your ambitions and your commitment. Right. And the commitment only comes out when you say that, indeed, I wanted this thing. Yeah. 
will I get help from someone so that he can advise me on how to get on, the, on that point? Right. Because most of our youths nowadays miss a part of being thought that you, you are targeting this one. Like for myself, I can use myself as an example. Mm. When I did my case CSE, I was targeting to get a C plus and above. And what did you get? But it was so unfortunate, I missed only two points to get that C plus. And so you got I a had C. a C plus of 44 oh. points. Right. So now you can't You couldn't C. enroll for a diploma at a higher learning institution? Yeah, so I enrolled for a diploma. Right. But it was so unfortunate that the same, same thing, it was almost putting me into depression because I, I really cried. Mm. Why me? Why miss these two points to go to mm. for a, deg a degree course? Mm. And then my cousins, some of them were talking that right now you, you could have been doing maybe a, a certain course at the yeah. university. What were you planning to pursue? Uh, by that time, I was planning to pursue... I, I had the three courses in mind. Mm. I was to do law. Mm. And then uh, I had uh, nursing. Mm and then in engineering. Mm. So those were the courses that I had. So you enrolled at a TVET? I enrolled at, at the a TVET, TVET. And now you're pursuing? Diploma in Agricultural Engineering. Mm. Contrary to your dreams and aspirations. Mm. How it's does it make you feel? Oh, it's not contrary. The same? Okay. It's not contrary because uh, it's still under engineering. Right. Yeah. So I'm still happy because uh, I still manage to do engineering. Yeah. Let me come back to you, Brian. Um, yeah. He's given his experience, uh, what he wanted to pursue at a higher learning institution, and he f missed by two points. For you initially, what were your dreams and ambitions before you enrolled at a TVET? Yeah. But uh, also, by the way, it's possible to get a C plus and above and still enroll at a TVET. See, very true. TVET's near to only fail. That is very mm -hmm. true. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, for my take, uh, actually, when I was in high school uh, doing my sitting for my phone, for, uh, my ambition was to actually join the same university, nobody's wish is normally to get to fail. Most of us, we hope and we dream that uh, we achieve the greatest grades that uh, are provided there. Uh, joining a university, my dream was to pursue actually a civil engineering course. I was more interested in architectural designs. That is what I normally do. From my talent, I normally paint, I normally draw hearts. So I was really driven to actually take a course that is more to the line of my my dream actually. So what I got, uh, I got a C stand, I got a C stand and uh, from there... C stand, what does that mean? I got a C stand that is uh, actually around 42 points. C plane. A C plane. No. It is no. a C plane. A C stand and a C plane is somewhat the same. So okay. uh, getting a C plane was uh, actually very sad to me, but uh, I took it very positive. Uh, what were you expecting to get? I was expecting a, a B plus and above. But uh, from that, uh, I decided to accept what I got. Mm. Uh, uh, do you believe something might have happened? Because now I've, I've heard stories of 90% of students who got grades that they were not expecting. They always advocated they should have their results marked. They should have some certain subjects checked. Probably something went wrong with the school and the marking. Do you believe something of that sort could have happened? Ama, that's what you scored. Uh, from that point, uh, with the situation uh, at the moment, I was facing some uh, background uh, situations that uh, actually uh, made me attain that grade at the moment. All right. Uh, so I you fully accepted it? I fully accepted it. Uh, at that moment, when I was almost doing my, my exams, I lost my dad. So I believe those are among the challenges that I got uh, to get that grade. I was right. actually depressed and the rest. Mm, so sorry for that, but here you are. Yeah. All right, so, uh, you, you, so you, you wanted to pursue, uh, if you were to get a C plus and above, you wanted to pursue civil engineering as well? Yeah. Uh -huh. but and what uh, other course? So I decided, uh, after go getting that grade, I decided to do something the same. So I decided to enroll to a TVET, that is a Kipsoan Technical Training and Vocational College. And you're pursuing? I'm pursuing a diploma in building technology. Right. It's actually related. a course related well, to, to what civil engineering. Yeah. Do you believe that you will climb up the ladder slowly and even get to a place where you'll do a degree, even though it will take you more time in years? Exactly. Uh -huh. That is actually where I'm heading to. Right. After completing my diploma, that is actually next year, mm -hmm. I'll be enrolling for higher education again, uh, joining uh, the TVET again for another course, then upgrading to do my degree at the nearest university. Uh, so within time, it's only a matter of time actually, yeah. Yeah, and commitment that you're going to achieve what you want. Yeah.
Yeah, so it's about uh, sacrifice. All right, judging from your stories and how you guys are boldly and confidently speaking, you're speaking from a place of, yes, it could have been, this is not what I wanted, but here's, here's an option. Yeah. And then uh, a TVET is now, TVETs are now here. And if for a person who doesn't understand what TVETs are all about, and now that you guys have that background and that's where you come from, maybe you can start by telling us what do TVETs do and how are they helping students who did not also attain that minimum grade entry to join higher learning institutions in the name of universities and the rest. Okay, under TVETs, they offer a, a variety of courses. They have a wide range of courses. They offer everything that the university offer. Yeah. So TVETs in full? TVETs are technical. In full, the word TVET -E for somebody who's watching, in full? Technical, vocational, training, inst 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 technical, vocational, technical and vocational training centers. Okay. Yeah, centers. Right. But I believe it's technical vocation education training. Okay. No, 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 not education. Not education training. Mm -hmm. The E is for? Actually, it's mm -hmm. the same. Uh, when we talk about TV, we're talking about the technical training education. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's more based on uh, actually the skills. Right. We are talking about how you're going to be competent in the society. That is skill-based uh, actually courses. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, maybe uh, courses like tailoring, that is right. handmade. Actually, it involves using your hands majority of the courses. Right. Uh, so that is what TVETs do. Uh, from the artisan courses, right. that is you can do an artisan in maybe plumbing. Right. That will involve you using your hands to actually earn a living. Right. And that is where we're heading to. Right. When you look to a countries like uh, maybe Australia, we're importing, we're exporting actually labor for courses that are handmade, yeah. that are majorly provided in our TVETs. Mm -hmm. When you talk about uh, things like driving, they are provided there. The same as uh, actually structural masonry. We talk about uh, megatronics engineering. It's actually among the best courses that are offered in our country. Megatronics yeah. engineering. It's actually a combination of electrical and uh, actually uh, ICT. Right. So when you combine those two courses, you'll be more competent and more skills. Mm -hmm. With more skills, you can also get self-employed. So right. that is what actually this TV is actually adding to. It is about self-employment. Mm. Immediately, you'll not wait for a white-collar job when yeah. you're out of the TVET. You right. engage yourself in uh, the activity and the course that you have learned. Right. Uh, for my friend, uh, you've done agriculture. Yeah. From there... You said it's agricultural engineering. Agricultural yeah. engineering. Okay. So apart from yeah. the engineering part of it, monitoring, you have already the skills mm. to start your own business. Do small-scale farming, like he's doing, selling those fruits, yeah. That is the way that this country is heading to. Right. The white collar jobs are no longer there. Right. So that is all the options we right. have. Right. As we wait for these white collar jobs, people can engage in small business. As you, yeah. With your degree, maybe as a teacher, you'll find yourself engaging in agricultural activities. You'll find right. yourself engaging in, maybe you'll require people to do electrical. Right. Uh, maybe you're constructing your own house. So right. those are some of the things that uh, these TVs provide. Right more skill and more competent. Right. And it's more hands-on, it's like exactly. you're using your talent more. And I also think uh, the part where the CBC has come in, I think it's also playing in handy Very in terms true. of even nurturing uh, the Tivetas more. So by the time you're finishing with your high school, you already know what you're best at with using your hands. Uh, th there's so many uh, abbreviations. There's Tiveta, there's TTC, oh. KTTC now in there. Now we are still stuck on defining uh, uh, TVET, technical <laughs> vocation, education, training, like there are so many definitions. Exactly. I just really like to hear like which is the clearest one. I've had a chance to also interact mm -hmm. with someone who uh, they were doing a transfer. Yes, they're they're yes. a teacher at a, K, at a TTC, I believe, or a KTTC, you'll tell me, but uh, you can go ahead and tell us maybe um, for a person who wants to enroll to yes, maybe yes. where you guys are, maybe what is the criteria they use for enrollment? And maybe what is like the minimum for, uh, an agri for, for example, your course agricultural engineering, for a person who scored a D plus or maybe a D minus and below, are they also eligible for that? And is it possible to also get a scholarship if you want? Yes, it's possible to get a scholarship for any course in the TVET. But uh, for my case, the, the course that I'm doing diploma in agricultural engineering, Diploma is taken from a C minus and above. Oh, C minus. A C minus and above. But we have certificate. 
the certificate the certificate part of it it's not known as a certificate but it's known as a um, agricultural mechanics mm. so that is the certificate part of it it's agricultural uh, so mechanics w what 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 happens in certificate is totally different from what happens in a diploma in a class. diploma it's only slightly slightly different uh -huh. because uh, slightly different in terms of in terms of uh, practicals because okay. uh, but we are doing the same units mm -hmm. but now the slight difference comes under practicals okay the certificate bit of it is measuring on practical 70% mm. under the national examination council oh, yeah. the the next exams that we have been doing mm -hmm. for the diploma they are only doing 30% so 30% they are 70% uh -huh. paperwork mm. so most of them these are just maybe giving a design of something oh, yeah. and then uh, giving a plan of a farm something of that sort yeah giving a directive on how a machine is supposed to be operated and all mm. sorts of that yeah but uh, the certificate bit of it this is mm. a person who can get into the field and even the same same machine that we yeah. call a tractor mm. he can repair do yeah. everything right. he is also like a mechanic right yeah at the so, same time but they have a grasp of both the theory part and the practical part yes 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 all right um uh, brian maybe in terms of in terms of uh, before we get to the funding model you know sometimes uh, when you are in these stewards institutions uh, the transition between a certificate to diploma and then you've said for you you'd love to even go for a degree yeah. you're spending a lot of time don't you think you the age is also going up <laughs> yeah with the age <laughs> age is, is a factor, factor. <laughs> but now uh, actually education has no limit to any other yeah. person i love that education has no limit has no yeah. limit with your age you're in 50s you can still enroll to whatever it yeah. do a computer application in packages right maybe do a do computer, computer do computer applications yeah. yes, yes. Wow. now that okay. we do online uh, actually we're digitizing everything right those are actually hedge people that uh, maybe didn't get access to these technologies right. now they end, they can enroll to these events and do a three month course yeah. of maybe computer application packages get to know what is all about ICT and get a certificate and, and get a certificate be able to work right and be able to and be I more think competent. that's the best part of TVS now because uh, I can imagine for a person who is studying law they are going to go for 6 years or even more if they fail at some point yeah. and you guys had mentioned uh, that, that, that I don't know if it's a disadvantage or maybe that's maybe the downside of it uh, your exams in TVS are conducted by NEC and uh, Maybe the chances and opportunities you're given to reset and redo an exam if you don't attain the minimum grade for a pass or credit and yeah. maybe excellent, I don't know, because I've not been to a TVET. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like maybe twice. But uh, as compared to higher learning institutions like universities, you can fail thrice, write a letter and uh, redo again. And yes. But for you guys, you mesema umepua chances mbili tu, and when you fail, like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is very true, and uh, it's so sad uh -huh. uh, that uh, we, the students, actually, you're losing your time, maybe three years of doing your papers, you have a refer, you get a refer. Yeah. So what is the next step? You do another here, uh, a retake of that paper, you fail again. Yeah. Uh, Oh, there's a difference between a receipt and a retake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just know for supplementary. Supplementary papers, these are the papers for internal exams. Yeah. Okay. Those are supplementary, supplementary papers. Uh -huh. And then supplementary at the same time, I always add them that they are in the university. Right. So there's supplementary paper. Yeah. And then we have, they have a special exam, something of yeah, that yeah, sort. Yeah. Hey, okay. But now for us, uh -huh. doing NEC, I'm yeah. seeing it's an advantage. Oh, you think it's an advantage? It's an advantage. Okay. The only How? thing that I was uh, thinking that they are not taking as serious is the mm. bit of uh, resetting the exam mm. twice only. You know, mm. giving someone a limit. But twice is a good. Twice is a good. Is a good chance. Twice is a good chance. <laughs> yeah. But you you need to understand that yeah. uh, we have some people immediately after you are done with your course, mm. you get out, yeah. and then you, when you are not able to manage to pass that exam mm. while you are in school and then now you are out mm. the chances of your passing that exam <laughs> are very minimal <laughs> yeah you, you don't need to understand that this person is outside there hustling looking for money and everything sorting out himself mm. but now you are giving him only two chances to come back in fact it's only a few institutions the ones who which are friendly that can allow you maybe at your one month to that paper 
you can come back and talk to your friends in school so that you can join them, revise with them, but not in all institutions. Because some of the institutions, they always say that, no, the only thing that we are waiting from you, you come th during that day that you have that paper so that you can sit for your paper and then you go back because you are no longer a student. Yeah. It's only a few friendly institutions. Right. So if, if, if you are to maybe have a voice in a panel on, yes. on matters, Steve, and some of the things that should be shaken and maybe given a first lift, would advocate up, uh, how many chances? Three times or even more? I can advocate for five chances. Oh my goodness, five is more. <laughs> it's more. Five is extremely more. <laughs> you know why? Two, in fact, two is already too much. <laughs> two <is> too much. <laughs> but three, three is good. Actually, is most good. learning institutions, even in the in the law in the law community, yes, yes. at least if you fail the bar, I believe it's thrice or twice. That's it. Because yeah. two times is enough to <laughs> hold a book, read, brah. Unless you machine what on your course. But now the three ones, uh -huh. the third one, they are counting the first exam that you did. Uh -huh. That one is amounting to three times. Mm. You understand that you sat for the first time, and then now you are given two chances mm. out of that. So now they are counting, those are three chances that you have been already given. So that's why I'm talking of five or four. Why? Because after the first one, the first one you are set direct to the paper. You are fresh, you have never done that exam, but you are now doing it for the first time. Yeah. And then the three, w the three remaining out, out here are the ones mm. for you to do a chance, another yeah. chance so that you can conclude and mm -hmm. then... Uh, Agree and then finally graduate. Right, okay, that's interesting. I, I was part of a panel at some point uh, last year about one, and they talked of exam modules. Are the exam modules favorable in terms of the sittings? Yeah, the exam modules, I think, uh, they're very competent, they're very mm. good, and uh, that is what actually our TVs do. And uh, when you do, t for example, module one, then you do for another module two, you get maybe a retake on your module one, maybe you got a fail. You have a oh, how many are they in total, the modules? Uh, when you're doing a diploma course, that uh -huh. is uh, level six, uh -huh. uh, we have levels, so right. maybe you can enlighten on that. When you're yes. doing maybe level six, that is equated to a diploma course. Right. When you're doing level five, that is a certificate course. When you're right. doing a level four, that is an artisan course. Oh, okay. So that is how it's oh, equated it's from most. Like high, low, lower, yeah, yeah. lowest. Yeah, so you can do okay. level four, level five, then you upgrade to level six. Mm, now, okay. let's say, for example, uh, in a diploma course, that is the level six. When you get a retic or a fail uh, in a certain paper, maybe in your module one, yeah. you have several papers that you have, uh, you're doing at the same time. So when you get maybe a fail in one of the papers, you have a chance during module two to do, th uh, to do better. that paper mm, again, again mm. as you continue doing your module two. So yeah. you, get a f you, you get another pass, you right. still continue the same. Right. When you fail during your module three, you have the same chance mm. to do a retake of module one. Right. And so it it's helping, right? Yeah, it's really, really, it's really, it's really helping. Now, uh, now, before we go to the funding model, uh, I was speaking to a friend of mine who was telling me, uh, he's, he's actually a teacher. Uh, story TTC, KTTC. You know, I'm confused. Yeah. Please, you can enlighten me <laughs> because yeah. you're from a KTTC. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I know one that's at Gigiri. So I'm really <laughs> yeah. confused. And then I'll, I also went, I think it was at Jogo House, and then I was sent at GPO. So I don't know, there, there's a place they've talked about a TTC, a TVTC, no. Tiveta. I'm confused. Please enlighten uh, me. Let me start uh, by talking about uh, teacher, t the TTC. Right. TTC. That yeah. is the Teachers Training College. Right. Uh, let me say, for example, you've done and you've got an assistant. You mm -hmm. can enroll in a in a TTC, that is the Teachers Training College, and pursue right. a P1 course, that is the primary teachers. All right. Uh -huh. uh, they go to this TTC and do that P1 course. Within two years, they're done, and they're ready to go to the field of primary teaching. Yeah, that's a diploma. That is a diploma. Right. Uh, when you talk about uh, KTVC. Yes, the KTVC. The KTVC. It even sounded like, like, uh, like a TV station. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like uh, in my case is uh, Kipsoin Technical Training and Vocational College. Correct. That's a KTVC. Mm. It's a TVC actually. Teach, yeah, uh, TVC. Technical mm. Vocational College. College. Mm -hmm. That is where now we enroll for these technical skills. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do these technical skills of artisan. You do plumbing. You do electrical installation. Mm -hmm. That is now where you. It's do. more hands-on. Yeah, yeah, it's more. Still, hands -on. they offer diplomas and. They offer and diplomas and the same. 
All right, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, you can enroll to a Kenya Teachers Training Institute. That is KTTI. Oh, Kenya Training Teachers Institute. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me say, for example, I'm done with my diploma. Right. That is the next year. I can enroll in a KTTI mm. and become a teacher in a TVET. Mm. That is where the teachers from TVET come from. Right. The KTTI. You can upgrade from your diploma. You right. do like, it's like a high diploma, actually. Oh, a uh, high diploma. KTTI. It's almost a mature step. To yeah, it's degree. a mature step. <laughs> now you're competent okay. to teach those in TVETs. Right. Uh, same to those in you're doing degree. You're mm. more competent to teach the TVETs. But so their job group is totally different and yeah. then maybe they also have like a higher salary. Yeah, they have mm -hmm. a higher salary. Oh, That's I get it. Now I see what my friend was talking about. Continue, continue. Yeah. I'm so writing notes. So that is, uh, from my understanding, from those three perspectives. Yeah. And we have uh, the Tivetsa. Now right. maybe uh, Mfusa, uh, mm -hmm. because he's a secretary, yeah, he can say something sh on the same the <laughs> <on> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, the Tivetsa, we have the Tivetsa. And the yeah. Tiveta, the one that yes. you are talking about. Yes, but there, there are so many words in there. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys, let, let, let's you talk about it. Cause and then the <laughs> other thing, we have Kati. Yes. The Kati, yes. the Kati, this is a body, uh -huh. the national body right. that is uh, under the Tivet principles. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the body that right. is leading, uh, that is standing for the Tivet presidents. Right. Ne not presidents, principals. Mm. All the principals of this TV. Oh, it's like a vice chancellor for a university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that is it. Okay. You know, we call them principals under the TV sector. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you the know, colleges. Shanga, you work at a college and you talk about a principal. <laughs> I, I thought it's a high school. Now I see. Now no, I no, see. no, no. We call Continue. them principals uh -huh. uh, at our level. Right. And then uh, the Tiveta, the Tiveta, this is a body like a uh, teacher service commission okay. on the other side we have yeah. teacher service commission for right. the other teachers primary teachers high school teachers mm. but for the tvets we have tiveta right. that is a body mm. that is that has been given a mandate mm. to enroll teachers to the tvet institutions right. and it's in charge of mm. the tvet institutions right. that is the tiveta right. and the tivesa this is now the students association right yeah Okay. It is a, t a student at association that is championing for the rights mm -hmm. and the welfare of the students yeah. in the whole Tibet across the country. So there are so many bodies in there. Yeah, we have so many bodies. Yeah. When, when you're not keen, mm -hmm. you can actually... I think you know, you I need to just write down a list. Nijue Sasahi mm -hmm. is totally different from KTVC. It's not a TV station anymore, TVETA <laughs> and TVET <laughs> and KTTC, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are learning, you continue to commenting. You to this is a very clear. interesting part. Yes, now, yes. let's talk about uh, stories of funding. I remember last year, yes. I was in an X space on socials, and uh, it was someone, I think he's one of the advocates of fair uh, education. I think he's from the University of Nairobi. I remember when they rolled out stories uh, funding, it started also with story in a CBC Kwanza oh, mm -hmm. they'll be able to help students who come from needy homes. Exactly. But the question was, what is the criterion they're going to use to fund students? Mm -hmm. And also how are they going to identify that this is a needy student who needs funding? And in the intro, I read to you about a story about a scholarship. Who are eligible for scholarships and how can they go about it? Um, when you compare that with higher learning institutions as well, for higher learning institutions, universities, they have help right yeah. yes, yes. Uh, they are eligible for uh, the loans but they will pay them anyways later on i don't know what's happening for tvets and then uh, what is the complaint from you guys yeah. that you would like to put across in terms of the funding model because i believe for any tvet definitely you're funding yourself yeah it definitely you're funding yourself you can go now ahead, Brian. uh let me talk about uh, this funding model uh, in the previous uh past that is uh just last year uh before the launching of this new funding model our yeah. fee payment was uh, actually 56 420 uh, that is uh, what was catered for that's for uh, what that is the entire fee for the for entire fee for one year for a whole year if you're pursuing, for all a year, you're pursuing maybe a diploma course let me right. use a diploma course mm -hmm. you're supposed to pay 56 420 mm -hmm. and uh, after the new funding model uh, actually it was raised how to to 67 189 and what was included in there that raised it uh, actually, there was an increment in terms of uh, actually some other small departments because the fees is broken down to other small departments. Now, okay. there was an increment in actually allocation from the government. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem was at the moment. And mm -hmm. 
now the categorization came in place. We had uh, scholarships and we had these loans that are being given in our TVETs. Now, uh, let me use for example, it has been categorized into actually four. We have the vulnerable, who these are the people maybe, are the students, maybe actually don't have anything totally. Maybe mm. say uh, they have a guardian, they don't have parents, that is it. Mm. So that uh, student is eligible for 80% scholarship and is also given a loan by the government through help at 20%. Mm. So these accounts to actually 100% of full scholarship because the government pays for 80% and uh, is given a loan for 20%. So actually the parent or the guardian that is uh, taking care of the student or the student himself, he will only work for those rent and maybe the food stuff. So actually everything is scattered across. In short accommodation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have this another person who is actually less vulnerable. Uh, maybe for my take is actually maybe that with uh, maybe with the parents or with only a single parent. The government pays 70% of scholarship and gives him a loan of 30 percent that amounts to 100 percent so the same applies to him he love him or her he has to just work on the rent and on the food stuff now we have this less needy we have needy and also the less needy now let me go for the needy the needy is given a 50 percent scholarship by the government and is given uh, actually a loan through help of uh, actually 30 percent Mm -hmm. So what he, the parent has to pay is only 20%. That's amount to 13,000, around 13,000 there. Mm -hmm. That is the only thing the parent is supposed to pay. That mm -hmm. is in the TVET. Now we have this, the last category of the less needy. This may be a parent, to, uh, a student who maybe has both parents, they're well off, they're earning good income. Mm -hmm. So the government is giving him, uh, him or her 32% of scholarship and a loan of... Uh, 48%. So there's an increase in loan as you go to, as you trigger down to that, uh, actually, that uh, program of funding. But now where the problem comes in is where now the categorization is. Mm -hmm. Actually how the government are placing this uh, student to okay. these eligible uh, scholarships and this eligible loan through help. So that is where actually the government need to create a very good criteria to see that uh, the students I feel, feel that uh, they're actually more engaged on the same and uh, they're achieving their dreams and getting those fundings in a very genuine and in a very open way. Mm. Uh, <coughs> uh, yes, you, you can sound off on that. As yes, uh, if I can add uh, something, we can't say that the government has already gotten maybe a, a good criteria of uh, offering this funding, new funding model. Mm. Because uh, let me ask a question, and this question goes this way, because uh, how can you t tell a person who is less vulnerable and, and a person who is totally vulnerable? Yes, and I think that was from the just, argument. From just yeah. posting their yeah. details, yes. and yet you are not on the ground. Or even sending an application. Yes, yeah. sending an application. 90% of them is, you, are you a needy person? Fill this form, blah, 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 yeah. blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. like you, I love the way you mentioned a guardian, and, mm -hmm. But also a guardian could even be, your father is a guardian yeah, still. Yeah, that is true. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. But so I think they should also be clear on the approach of, yes, of, yes. of pursuing that. And what do you think can be done to make that part clear? The only thing that I can, I think it can be done so that we can get exactly the less vulnerable people is only getting on the, on the ground. That is the only way because we can't lie ourselves that it will be possible for us to do applications and then we get the less vulnerable from that. You can right. get, let me take a, an example, uh, maybe let's assume uh, the son to, the, to our president today mm. applies for the funding, for the support from the government. Mm. After applying and maybe let's, us, we have so many people who have the same names. Mm -hmm. After applying and then another person applies, this, the documents are very clear and they are the same. And then the mm -hmm. same, same person, let's assume that the same, same person writes there and they, they also say that they are less vulnerable. And then they write their documents, they say that they have, uh, maybe they only have, uh, they have parents, but they don't have anything. You know, they are trying to tell us that they will be getting a less vulnerable people from the measure of the wealth that they have. Because uh, maybe you can say that your parent is doing A, B, C, D, and uh, mm. after filling all those details. Yeah. Yeah. You know now, that one, 
can't be mm. exact because we have people, yeah. a farmer who is a millionaire. Mm. You, I can say that my dad is a farmer, but mm. he's a millionaire already. Mm. That is, I'm not a, a less, a less, I'm not totally less privileged person mm. because my dad is a millionaire. It means yeah. he's able. I'm at the first class level. Yeah. And then we have a farmer at the same field mm. who has nothing. Mm. Now these are two different people. And they have a child who wants to enroll for yeah, all be eligible of them for that scholarship. Have children. But then we just have three minutes to go because yes, we are yes. out of time. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned uh, needy, less needy, like and vulnerable. Yeah. So how, maybe if you are to just explain Kidogo, who is a needy student and who is a vulnerable student that now, needs uh, the support if they were to go for the eligibility part? Now, from my understanding, uh, when you are applying for these uh, scholarships, there is some documents you need to attach. That uh -huh. is, uh, let me say, for example, vulnerable. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have both parents, you attach the two death certificates mm -hmm. uh, to the documents. Right. That is how they will identify uh, in a simpler way. Mm -hmm. uh, to the, that uh, actually is not, uh, is somehow less, uh, less vulnerable. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll attach that single death certificate. For example. A death certificate. Yeah. Okay. So now, when you trigger down, now that is where the problems comes in to identify a person who is less needy and needy. Mm. Uh, that is where the government needs to reinforce and need to actually come up with mechanism right. of easy identifications. Uh, yeah. Actually, through actually ground. And, and it's a uh, Makwanda ground. Yeah. How can they do that? They'll be visiting like every household. Ama they gather like a group no. of uh, students and families and I think be able uh, to point out? through the members of parliament, right. uh, that is the MPs, where how they distribute uh, their bursaries. Right. It involves public participation. In the ground, right. we have chiefs mm. and the sub chiefs. The villagers. They actually yes. villagers, know right. the exact students, how their right. family is. So yeah. that is how we can actually see that, uh, that funding model. And sieve out people that are lying. Because also in bursaries, there's been a lot of fr fraud in there. There's people who were sold to bursaries, others they bribed. Yes. Others are, have even schooled via bursaries, but they did not need bursaries, yes. right? Which is not a good thing. Uh, maybe uh, we, uh, we, want, we have to exit. We have like f three minutes to go. So uh, I'd like you maybe to encourage students, also those that are watching you and those that also sat for KCC last year, and maybe they did not score that minimum grade entry of C plus and above. What is the best side of joining a TVET? And then you can also point to us, what are some of the misconceptions that the ideologies and what people talk about, the nays let me just say the naysayers and what they think, you know, ah, you know, TV, blah, 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 blah. There's always the brow ha ha around that. So you can do that first. Uh, so I'll start by saying that uh, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Right. No matter how small you are, no matter the grid that you've gotten, uh, let me use, for example, those uh, that have done uh, their KCC, their results have been released recently. You've gotten that C plus, you've gotten that C standard. Let it just be that uh, a beginning, accept what you've gotten. Uh, that is very priority. Accept what you've gotten. Then from there, start cultivating that grid to be something bigger and something productive. Because uh, at the end of time, uh, it's only a matter of time to be in that uh, docket that you want. Maybe you want that degree. It's only a matter of time. That is what makes the difference. Getting a system and enrolling in a TVET. Uh, let me say, for example, that uh, where I come from, Kipsoin Technical Training and Vocational College, you need just, it's a matter of time. You could do that artisan for one year, you do that uh, certificate for another two years, you do that uh, diploma for three years, and you're good to go and you become more competent. And uh, for my brothers and sisters, especially from where I come from, uh, when people talk about El Marakwit, you talk about banditry, you talk about actually yeah. a society that is more uh, into violence. And... Uh, we have young people who I want to talk to them and I want to tell them that it's possible to come from the Kerry Valleys, a valley where is actually a valley of death. But uh, recently through the interventions of our leaders, and I want to thank actually the leaders of, actually the leaders of Kerry Valley, that is a uh, county where I come from, uh, from the Governor Excellency uh, Wesley Rotich uh, to the MPs uh, led by Honorable Adam Skipsanai for the intervention they're making to see that their youths are engaged through bursaries they mm -hmm. give them a lot of bursaries, a location, yeah. so that they can see also that uh, the youths are going to these tables, they become more, uh, more compliant, 
and more competent in the society so that they can right. deliver right. and save right. the next generation. Right. Uh, you also tell us, uh, before you come in, you also tell us maybe um, if you are to have a panel or if you are to be in a forum with the cabinet secretary, that is Ezekiel Machogu, what are some of the things that need a first lift in TVETS? And if you are to raise some two, three issues that should be ironed out, but you can go first. Okay. The names that most of the people have in TVETS, I can say that most people think that TVETS are for the failures. Mm. But that, that, that's, that's not, not true. That's not that's true. true. Mm. TVETS is where the dreams come true. Because mm. TVETS is where the dream come true. Yeah, okay. because when we compare TVETS and the uh, universities, right. someone who comes from TVET, and then uh, let's take an example for someone who started from certificate, then mm. to the dip diploma level. And then degree. Then degree. That and person then masters. Is then masters. Too that much person is bang. more competent <laughs> than that person who has done uh -huh. a degree Right. at the university because when they g when they go to the ground uh -huh. to the field automatically the one who are, who started from certificate or diploma right will be taken and then uh, mm -hmm. maybe to advise my brothers and sisters mm -hmm. back there at home you need to understand that you start from where you are mm -hmm. in life you need to start from where you are because exactly. you can't tell us that you want to st you want to do you wanted to do a degree yes but mm -hmm. it has happened you are, you are supposed to start from a certificate. Right. Accept and yeah. start from where you want and mm -hmm. then reach where you want to okay. go because dreams are valid yes. and they always come true. Yes. Then back at home, right. I can say that my brothers and sisters back at TESO, mm -hmm. we always believe that if we fight together, right. then we get what mm -hmm. we want. Right. And let us make sure that our dreams come true right. and the whole TVETs across the country, mm -hmm. let us fight for our rights mm -hmm. and make sure that we are not suppressed right. by maybe the administration and whatever mm -hmm. so that we can't meet our goals. All right, it's already 10 a.m. It's time for us to exit, Brian, but just mention them. You know the way you can list A, B, C, D? Yeah. Just uh, in, in 30 seconds bef before we sign out. The things that should be given a first lift in TVETS that you've also identified and experienced in 30 seconds, just at, don't explain. Uh, now, uh, I want to tell uh, uh, the CS for Education that uh, actually uh, through our leaders we can we want to see that uh, actually the increment of uh, bursary allocations that is through the MPs that the government allocates more bursaries especially to the TVETs because uh, that is where we want to head to. Uh, secondly I want to say that uh, also uh, in terms of funding model let us see that we have the clear mechanism in which uh, these funding models can be very more competent and very, very more clear so that each and every student can get to benefit from these uh, actually scholarships and this help application. And finally, uh, I want to say that uh, actually we need to thank actually the government. Uh, so far so good, they've done a wonderful job in our TVETs. And they're really improving uh, the TVETs in terms of infrastructure, in terms of uh, actually uh, those machines, those equipments. And uh, that is a kudos to the government. They're doing a wonderful job through right. the county governments and through the MPs. That right. is where we get all these resources to the our TVETs. All right. Yeah. All right, we are out of time. We, in fact, we are overrunning with a minute, which is not supposed to be it. But mm -hmm. thank you both for coming. That is Kevin Imapuz. He is a Tibet Students Association National Academic Secretary. And then Brian Kipchumba. He is a youth leader at Girl Maracuit County and student uh, president KTTC. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thank, and you. thank you for coming through. And that's where we put our period or a full stop in today's show. Definitely we'll see you tomorrow for Health and Entrepreneurship Tuesday. I'm Brian Sako. Have a fantastic Monday. See you tomorrow.